Not every support that a student with significant disabilities needs should come from peers. There are certain roles that they definitely should not assume. We shouldn't have peers involved in helping students with things like grooming or hygiene or dressing. Uh, those are roles that are best assumed by an educational assistant or a special education teacher. They shouldn't be involved in anything related to bathrooming or uh, feeding. Uh, those are roles, again, that are best suited for adults. And they're not the ways that peers naturally help one another. We're really wanting to draw upon things that peers would naturally do for another classmate. One of the other issues that often comes up is we have students who might have challenging behaviors, uh, uh, behaviors that might uh, be aggressive or inappropriate. And those are things that peers shouldn't be responding to. They shouldn't be mini behavior managers. Those are roles that are best left to, uh, to trained adults. And so that's why in our orientation sessions, we wanna make sure peers are really clear on the roles they should assume and when they should turn to an adult for help. We're never pairing peers up with one another and then having adults leave the room or leave the situation. The role of that educational assistant becomes to make sure that students are working well together, uh, that all of the students' needs are being met, and that when those situations arrive, they're ready to step in and uh, provide those supports in lieu of a peer.